lovely. It's great fun. Yeah, in the title and all that. It's great fun. It's great fun. And look at that. That's good. that's something else, isn't it? I know. Basically, that is me. That's how I wake up every morning. Can you take us to get into character as yeah. a badass dragon? Well, the book is fantastic, obviously. And then I, I did a little bit of research when I watched Komodo Dragons at Regent's Park, the zoo there, the London Zoo. And then it was just collaboration in the mocap stage with uh, Peter and Fran and Philippa and through the physicalization and looking at lots of illustrations that I, well, I looked at lots of illustrations from all the sort of additions to the books and the fantastic drawings that have accompanied it since it was first, first published. And just sort of threw myself around, sort of squished my legs together, tried to crawl on my, on just my belly using my hands and my forearms and uh, drag it up, I guess, in order to try and get the voice and then we evolved and evolved and evolved it. And then the boys at Weta did this incredible, incredible job, which um, you're about to see. It's, quite something that I've done, it's incredible. So you're recording the voice and you're crawling like I'm a dragon? Movement. Yeah, no, well I did motion capture for both that and the necromancer. So I wanted to sort of establish the characters so that they had, uh, I don't know, a physicalised body, a uh, physicalised voice, so it wasn't just a, that separation you sometimes get from voice work and what you're seeing and what you're hearing, I mean, so uh, it, was, it was a great way of going about it and uh, they used it as a springboard for certain facial reactions that the dragon has and obviously helped me just embed the voice somewhere in the body, so yeah, it's really good fun. Can you do your favourite line in the film that your character has? It's the last line in the film, so I'll leave that to people to see, but yeah, it's the last one. <laughs>